Hey guys, Chris Ignato here and get this, uh, I'm exploring this wetlands trying to see what types of invertebrates are around and maybe if I'm lucky a snake or two and believe it or not I stumbled upon this little population of leopard frogs. I believe it is the mid-Atlantic leopard frog, could be southern leopard. I'm really excited and they're just beautiful. You know, so many of them just blend in with the environment. They just sit still hoping I don't see them, and I don't. Have a look. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is a southern leopard. You know, I know I'm in uh, the northeast, but this is still southern New Jersey. And I think that might just be the northernmost range of the southern leopard frog. Leopard frogs are often confused with pickerel frogs, but there are differences that let you know. The spots on pickerel frogs, for example, are generally arranged into two nice rows on top of their back. It's not always a perfect arrangement, but it still looks fairly organized. Whereas the spots on leopard frogs are fairly sporadic and disorganized. Another key feature for leopard frogs is if you look at their tympanum, You'll notice a white spot dead center in the tympanum of leopard frogs. That's kind of like their eardrum. If I had to choose just one identifying characteristic though, I would look for those spots on their backs. If they're sporadic or disorganized looking, there's a good chance you or I have found ourselves a leopard frog. I could tell that this is a southern leopard frog as opposed to the Atlantic leopard frog. And that's because of the nose. The southern leopards have a longer, slender nose, whereas the Atlantic leopards have a shorter, rounded nose. So basically, these are southern leopard frogs. Like most frogs, leopard frogs can definitely vary in appearance. Some can be dark brown to olive, while others, like this one here, can be a very vibrant green. Leopard frogs like the typical diet of insects, arachnids, and other invertebrates, and in some cases, they might even feast on your odd crayfish once in a while. These frogs can be found in all sorts of shallow water habitats from the edges of lakes and freshwater ponds to brackish marshes, swamps, and wetlands. They can even be found in drainage ditches at the side of the road. And of course, creeks and streams. And their range is too vast to list here, so I'll just show you a picture on the map. Their predators include various snakes, birds, mammals, and even other frogs. What a pleasant surprise. You know, I didn't expect to see leopard frogs today, especially so many of them. It's always fun to find, you know, a species I don't get to see too often, and these leopard frogs definitely fulfill that order. I hope you guys get to actually appreciate these in person because they are stunning. Now if only I can get some good close-ups of the carpenter frogs. They're proving really difficult this year. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.